This week on the Delicious TV Podcast. Hi, I'm Miyoko Shinner, co-host of Vegan Mashup. On today's podcast, I'm going to be making a smoky chipotle queso to go with your favorite tortilla chips. It's just like the real thing, except it's got no cholesterol, it's very low in fat, and it's full of all kinds of healthy nutrients. This is a butternut squash, which I roasted whole in the oven for about 45 minutes or so until it's really, really tender. We're going to add this to our queso. It adds a golden hue that looks just like cheese and a sweetness that is just unrivaled. So we're just going to peel the skin off. And I need about a cup of this. And I'm going to put it in my blender right here. All right, to that I'm going to add 3 quarters cup of water. Okay, I'm going to add some non-dairy yogurt, which will give it that tang, that sort of cheese-like sharpness that you find in queso. This is made out of soy milk, and it's commercially available. You can also make it at home. What's important is that you want an unsweetened one. You don't want anything that's got vanilla or blueberry, any kind of fruit flavor. Also make sure, even if it's plain, that there's no sugar in it, because we don't want to add any additional sweetness to it. So I've got 3 quarters cup of unsweetened non-dairy yogurt. Okay, I've got about half an onion that I've roughly cut. I'm going to put that in there. That's going to offset the sweetness of the butternut squash. Now I'm going to add some nutritional yeast. I've got about four tablespoons, which I'm going to add to my blender, and about a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of raw cashew nuts, which will add a touch of richness to this dish. And now to pack a whole bunch of punch into this queso, and heat it up a bit, I've got a chipotle pepper and adobo sauce. I'm going to throw that whole thing in there. It'll enhance both the flavor and the color. And finally, about three to four tablespoons of tapioca starch, which will make it really gooey and stretchy, just like cheese. Okay, I'm going to blend all of that up, and all we have to do then is heat it up. As you can see, the color is already like queso. It's got the heat of the uh, chipotle pepper. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Now all I have to do is heat it up, cook it up for about three minutes or so, and it's going to get stretchy and gooey and absolutely delicious. Now if you really like it spicy, you can always chop up one more of these chipotle peppers and throw it in there at the end. Or if you leave out the chipotle, it's a beautiful sauce for macaroni and cheese as well. Okay, it's been about three or four minutes and my cheese looks stretchy and gooey and delicious. Oh, look at that. Oh, doesn't that look fantastic? Put a little bit of salsa on top. And now I get to make good use of these chips. I hope you enjoyed this fun and cheesy recipe. For more delicious recipes, be sure to watch our new TV show, Vegan Mashup.